Yo, dog. Is like, somebody actually using Makoto? Why did you do this, dude? Nope. <laughs> we didn't think that many people would come in. I did not reply, reply to them. The room get full. What the fuck? I just want to body some people with this new and improved Ragna that gets like 4k off of 5b meter lit. This shit- It doesn't- it, you can't wait for this. So it doesn't matter. matter. Oh, I gotta see this Kokonoe. I'm not Kokonoe. Are you talking about Don't that? Like, God, I'm tired. Like, like, no, no, I gotta no, see- no, actual no. wave dashing. He's talking about <laughs> wave dashing. Rebel that people were him doing barriers, they feel yourself completely sane. Damn, that was bad. Yeah. All the barriers. <laughs> oh, that does make it bad. I wanna see this Makoto. This Makoto is oh, bad. So bad. <laughs> that no, it's, it's, it's a stupid, it's a stupid user. Yo, 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 yo. Uh, it's just like, it's just like, it's like 20 seconds of the actual game plan, and it's just like another 30 of like it's the anime um rock machine, and it's just the word just says get ruined. Why would you do that? It's not gonna kill it. <laughs> I just don't understand. So many people, 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 people. and it's what and it's what listen to Nate, vi What's like a victory. This? Listen to Nate, time right now. If you are. I got no points on Tarumi. I don't know enough about Nutsurumi. Well, firstly, use more of his mix up shit. Like, I know a lot of people are talking about that shit being useless or whatever. Fuck that. Fuck that. I have seen so many Tarumi players talk, and I have not seen one thing that I actually agree on. Like, at the beginning of the last fucking video, people bitching. Not being able to go from 3C to 6D ruined Tarumi's mid screen off. You can do 6 B into fucking 6D for free. Every time. He did it like three times in those matches. What are you bitching about? Stop! Just stop! And I also see a lot of people. Oh man, you don't actually get a follow up off of the low version of his fucking stomp super. Oh no. I'm sure you're never gonna have a hundred meter with Tarumi to rapid cancel that shit into a huge fucking damage into getting the majority of that meter back in the first goddamn place. No way Tarumi's capable of that. Surely and obviously You'll be getting the high version. It's a 50-50 mix-up. You'll be getting the high version occasionally. I don't have. You'll be getting the fucking high version every once in a while. So like that, you can follow that up. You just gotta make somebody respect the low version. Like a mobile hotspot. You just gotta make somebody respect the low version first. Go. Please select your character. Hey, buddy. Oh God. Um, it's just so people are, are just bitching oh, needlessly. Even if you can't rapid cancel that shit, if you hit it, you get 2.3k. What are you bitching about? It's 2.3k and you get a knockdown. What are you bitching about? So like, I just mix it up more with that shit. Do more of that shit. Stop being so predictable with your J2Ds. Because um, all those joke uh, you, you kept doing it. F you weren't doing, you weren't canceling. Oh, granted, it's not more. worth canceling it off of 5C in the first place blood. because it's you just block so high. It's the second hit of 5C but, high, but the and you get that block for free anyway. Game. But it's still, it's still J2D. You get to continue pressure. Um, but yeah, every single time you would do whatever, you had 2C or 3C, whichever one you would use into J2B, and it was too predictable. thing about that was watching the Donna stage when Carl called. Oh my god, I'm not ready for the Show him the power of the 360s in the 720s. I'm putting you in. I haven't played it. If I had a D-pad, there'd be a lot more 720s. I can assure you that. Oh my god, this is bad. 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 Fucking shit! It's fine. I haven't done any of this yet. It's okay to do it, I guess. Fuck. Fuck. 
as long as it goes okay. Fuck! Dang it. And now Jin is being Jin. I hate it when that happens. I did it! I admit it! I did it! But anyway, that homie just invited me. And this is not anybody special, they don't wanna... I was hoping to spectate some matches so y'all could see something different. But obviously that's not gonna happen now that homie changes the room. I really do enjoy the fact that you can change rooms like this. Like, that's an amazing feature. Uh, for our system works to make so you just get together a group of eight people and just go fucking bonkers. The only problem is that, um... Alright, sorry bro, I gotta leave you. Oh, they're good. Um... The only problem is that in general, just the way that shit works. Is that in you'll usually you'll have to have both of you waiting. Um oh shit. Otherwise, um, if you don't, you'll have to you basically because obviously matches are not going to coincide. The end of matches are not going to just magically work together and everybody's going to be able to mix it back up with a new person. So it would be really cool if they had a feature in there that was like random matching. So it would kind of just like, I don't want to say it would wait for all the games to finish, but it would just shuffle you around if you wanted to. And so it would basically it would shuffle you to a new player and you would have to wait until their match finishes specifically so that you could end up joining their shit instead of having to like sit there and hope that you press A at the right time to join with a different person if you played the same person too many times. That kind of shit. Still, shout out to that homie for using the best Hakuman color. Stop using counters. Stop. I mean, granted, that one was not as bad, but he was still, it was basically gimmick shit. Where like, he knows that's almost punishable, so I'm gonna try to punish it, and so he's gonna throw out a counter. That's some gimmick shit that's gonna get you killed once a player knows that you do that. Play solid. You don't want gimmicks. Play solid. 3C, solid. Not a gimmick at all. Poor Tager. Poor Tager. Ow, that did not work out. I don't know why I did that. Fuck. Oh, I went right into F16, right into that! Right into the waiting arms! <laughs> Definitely punch that 360 next time. Absolutely 360. 360 beat. Every single time. I would I should have been dead. That should have been your round. That was your round. 360 beat. Every time. Not gonna lie, I was really. Fuck, he didn't block hard. I'm actually pretty sure that might have been a free 360. Fuck that. Ow! My face. Confirm that. Yeah, confirm, dude. I'm faster than that. I gotta confirm it. Oh! Good shit. I deserve that one. Actually, both of your 720s were good shit. I deserve them both. Oh god, oh god, yeah, oh my god, you. Fuck me. Back dash Y! Oh my god. Oh, nice! He got his round back. I tried to back dash twice and neither one of them came out, so we got his round back. Game equaled it out. Equalizers! Ow! Confirm it, dude! You gotta confirm it, son! This one hurts. If the lag lets up. That works? 
Really? Didn't that start? No, that started off with JP. Good shit, good shit. Copy mashing. I was hoping I could get up and air grab him. I didn't. Got two rounds. Flip flopped. He should have won the first one. I should have won the second one. We both fucked up and lost it for each other. He deserved the third one. Good shit. I right, I need to stop drop. I'm basically kind of doing stuff that like I know is the effective way to fight Tager, but that I am not actually. Uh, used to doing properly. Please select. Like it's the way to fight Tager. I just need to confirm Azrael. stuff properly. Like I should not be Tager. doing JB straight into Rekas. I need to be doing JB into Tubi into Rekas. Um, you know when I'm doing the cross up stuff. I need to obviously be getting the Sentinel dumps out properly. At least I know I'm doing the motion correctly. I'm just not hitting the button fast enough. Because that's why I'm getting the JC. It's like, oh, don't do that, son. The connection wasn't good enough for that. Oh, this is going to hurt. Why you do me like this, son? I'm going to counter it. Never mind, I got to counter it. Fuck that. Fuck me. Motherfucker, are you real? I don't actually know if that works if you hold it. Oh my god. Oh shit! Distortion <laughs> finish! Tager's scary, dude. This is a good this is a good match in my favor, but Tager's still a scary motherfucking character, regardless of that. Fuck that! 6A. Oh fuck. Oh, the Super Flash ate my JB! I'm such a scrub! Oh, that was supposed to be 3C! Oh, oh, fuck, I'm dead. Come on, so finish your combo. Don't do that gimmicky shit. Don't do that gimmicky shit. You would have killed me if you had finished your combo. Don't risk it. Ow! No, that's not how you confirm it. Fi oh my god. Oh god, the lag. Oh god, why did I do that? Fuck that. Oh, that was weird. Fuck me. Oh, I tried. Oh, oh, I tried to break that so hard. Ah. Oh. 
I wonder, is there wonderful Blaze Blue scholars that y'all are? Is there a uh, a mandatory period of time where you can't block after a jump cancel? I mean, it could have been the lag. Like, I mean, this can this connection is good for a zero bar connection, but it is not ideal. But it's it's good enough for a zero bar connection and it's playable. Um. Is there a time period after a jump cancel where you can't block? So firstly, another point of advice. You bursted. That is the third, I don't know if it's the third or the fourth time, but that is, you have been bursting at the same exact spot every single time. JB, JC, jump cancel, burst. Every single time. If I, if that had gone as planned, I would have eaten your burst and killed you. And that would have been sad. So the, the one thing you gotta do, Asriel isn't all that good at burst baiting in the first place. But when you make it very predictable like that, be careful. Be very careful. Yeah, not the intro. The wheel of not the turning. intro. No. One. No. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Ah, oh, Tager, you silly bitch. Ah, oh, what am I jump cancel? Tried to backdash, and I was expecting that to come out, so I wasn't ready for the tech. Really? You're gonna do that kind of gimmick? Fuck me, come on, son. Ah, it's irritating. I'll send you back to the dark. Rebel two action. Unleash the beast. You don't fuck with the wrong man. You don't fuck with the wrong man. You don't fuck with the wrong man. Oh, I tried to call that out. Now, I would have made, I would have been happy if I, if I had called that out. Oh, I didn't even realize he had Spark Bros, stupid. Come on, son. Son. Come on. Son. 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 Come on. You done woke me up. You can't gimmick a brother like that. When he's not expecting that shit. And then expected to keep working. Son. Come on. You can't. That'll work. That'll work online. Once or twice. As you saw, it worked. Once or twice. It'll happen. But you will not. You will not out gimmick me. You are Tager. The options you have available to run that shit Please are fucking like minuscule in comparison to the Asriel. bullshit I can pull with Asriel. Do not fuck with that character. Do not do it. Actually, you know what I should start doing? Nah, I'll probably be able to block. I was gonna say I should start doing. I should start baiting that shit out and just do a move in the Sentinel dump. But. That shit'll probably. Well, actually, I think I can do that off. Uh, you know what I should do? 
that shit into 3C or that shit into uh, 5D. Because he's airborne for a little bit during 3C and 5D. I don't know how fast it comes out, so I may end up getting grabbed and made to look like a fucking idiot, but if it works out like you I'm thinking in my head, Rebel then everything will be... Nailed it. 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 Nailed Oh, what the fuck? That was all very weird. I have no idea what just happened during all of that, but it was very fucking weird. Son, stop. He's good with the 720s. That last one shouldn't have worked, but that's still like what four out of five or some shit. That he got me. That he caught me legit. Rebel three. Action. <laughs> How the hell was that not a counter? Oh, what am I doing? Hold it out right. Didn't hit the right buttons. Why did I just do an airborne 5 BB? Like, <laughs> why did I just do an airborne 5 BB? I feel stupid. <laughs> like, I guess I was trying to astral hella hard and like, hey, you astral by doing 5 BB astral. Like, what's the point? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I'm level 2. You think I am the kind of person you're searching for when you say level 1 through 5 only? Not to feel myself too damn. Why does it always do this? Do you go back to... No? Yeah, do why does it always do this? Why does it always go back? Fine. Fine. Man, why does it always do that? It always goes back to the settings that they have. Why don't they stick with my settings? Like, I don't want to be playing people the same rank. I want to be playing people that are fucking amazing. They're going to make me shit myself because they're so fucking amazing. Who you? Who you? Who you? Nobody. You nobody. You not somebody I want to play. All right. Shit. Shitty. Shit shits. Shit. Fine. 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 So just to talk about um, what we were talking about beforehand, I completely forgot to finish it. So firstly, tips in general, I never finished this shit, but when I watched the Hazem 
do that combo into distortion, into whatever the fuck the far grabbing one is. Why? Why would you, like, why are you not, you're not gonna kill him. You are not killing that character. I don't care how close you are, I mean, I don't care how far ahead you are, you are Hazuma. Keep them in the corner. You had a perfect combo route to put them in the corner, and then next hit you win. No matter what, next hit you win, and you keep meter in case you need a cro in case you need a counter assault, uh, in case you need a crush trigger. What I I don't think Hazuma actually uses crush trigger. Point being, no, there's no need to just throw away meter on distortions that aren't going to kill. You don't need the damage. If you are using a distortion to get them down another 1,000 to 1,500 health, however much uh, damage your distortion does, it will be enough to kill the next hit you get regardless, but you will have more options available to you. So that's something I see a lot in players that aren't really like at a high level yet. They don't conserve their meter. They use it the moment they have it. Like, oh, let me just use a distortion because this is how you end combos. Don't. Find a combo route that does not rely on that distortion end that uses a knockdown that puts them into a disadvantageous position force them to respect you learn how to force them to respect you and then run your mix up and the next hit you get you win anyway rather than basically resetting the neutral entirely which is what that player did granted it's Hazuma against Makoto so like what the fuck is Makoto gonna do to Hazuma but still the point even if it regardless of who the character is you are using that meter pointlessly you don't need the extra damage. Nobody gets chip kills in this game. Well, Kokonoe with that stupid ass ice gun, but uh, nobody actually uses that. That's well, Amane. But Amane doesn't have any use for his meter anyway. I've never seen a, an Amane player. Well, not, I don't want to say never, but in general, you never see Amane players utilize their distortions. They always use meter for other shit. Rapid cancels for better combos um, and counter assaults. That's what they always use them for. And so, save it meter is too useful to be throwing it away on a distortion that is not going to kill if you are going to end the round throw that meter away who gives a shit you don't need it anymore but if it's not going to end the round you are giving it away and who knows you know that player could suddenly put you into the grinder and now you wish to god you had a counter assault to save you but you don't anymore and you lose because of that so that's my one like biggest tip that pretty much applies to anybody that you can apply to your own gameplay stop using distortions now, Grant, this is not a 100% this is how it is, never use a distortion if you are about to win, I mean, if you if it's not going to kill. Because there are some characters, I can't name them off the top of my head because I don't know have enough character experience with the cast to properly associate this shit, um, but still, um, what was I going to say? But still... Occasionally you have a character where they don't have a combo route that will end in an effective manner, that will end in a manner that allows them to get a good knockdown and run appropriate um, and run appropriate offense off of, and you need that distortion to actually give you that situation. If that's the case, fucking do it. Like this is not some just 100% no matter what, never use distortions or life will end. But in general, like that Hazuma player sent that person flying across the screen. They had him in the corner, free to do whatever you wanted to do to him. And instead, he reset the neutral. Don't do that. Never reset the neutral. Stay in that ass. Um, What was it? Tarumi. Like I, said, I mean, I don't know enough about Tarumi to um, give like actual in-depth advice. The best I can say is basically what I said. You never once used the 50-50 mix-up. Um, obviously, it is a little bit of a problem. I don't actually know if you, if you can counter-assault out of it. Granted, that's not as bad. Like, for instance, Azrael has his unblockable, which, uh, if you put them in the block stun and do it, the opponent can counter-assault out of it, and basically the only thing that occurred there was your out 50 meter. It is not the same situation with Tarumi. Tarumi is the fastest meter gainer by just exponential degrees in comparison to the rest of the cast using 50 meter to cost somebody else 50 meter is a fucking win so even if they can counter assault out of that 50 50 mix up the high low stomps you win and as far as i'm aware the hits the, the block stun is not 
um, short enough to get punished off of. I'm fairly certain on that. Don't hold me to that. But it has. It does not have very much recovery. So like, just do it. Fuck the people that say, "Oh, well, we can't combo off of the low one." Who gives a shit? You just got two point. However much damage it does, two point two, two point three, two point four k. However much damage it does, you just got that and a knockdown. What is there to bitch about? Not to mention that you could rapid cancel it into huge damage. And even then, like I said before, sure, you might not be able to follow up with a full combo and get 7k damage or whatever the fuck you're hoping, nonsense you're hoping for, off of that move. But once you get somebody scared of the low version, which I guarantee nobody is scared of the low version yet, once they are scared of the low version because they stop disrespecting it and realize that they can't just keep eating all this random damage for no good reason, the high option will open up. It'll become available, and you will be able to use that and get the damage you so deeply desire to fulfill your life or whatever the fuck you're looking for. So basically with Tarumi, the main things you have to do, avoid being predictable, because Tarumi it does have a very straightforward offense in general, but when you're doing a J2C off of the same exact move every single time, of course I'm going to be blocking that. You're not going to hit me with it. It allows you to continue pressure, but what does pressure get you? Pressure gets you nothing. Nothing. It just makes me sit and block stun for a little bit longer until I find a way out. That's not a... There's nothing bad about that. So you want to be mixing it up. Secondly, you use 6B a few times. I don't think you use 6B in the early stages of the matches, but you started using it later. I know you started using it later on because I started paying attention to it. Cancel that shit into throws. That is something I never see anybody but like the best Tarumi players do and I don't understand why. It's so simple. You just hit 6B, you hit another button, micro dash throw. That's all you gotta do and it's so effective because 6B is such a scary move. Oh my god is that move scary as shit. Do more of it. I don't know why players aren't doing that. You know, they all bitch about Tsurumi just not having enough mix-up, not having enough high-low game, not having enough whatever the fuck, and they don't explore his options. They don't utilize his options. That's the main thing that I can tell you. Use all the options he has available to him. He's not Asriel. He's not Valkenheim. You can't expect him to be. He doesn't have that good a mix-up, but he has incredibly solid pressure. And once somebody is properly scared of that pressure, that is when avenues open up to pull offense off of. That's when you want to start throwing. That's when you want to start doing J2C. Uh, that's when you want to start just, you know, do 5D into 5D. 5D, micro dash 5D. Frame trap, right there. Not exactly safe. Don't do it too often. But still, a lot of players will never expect that shit. They never expect the whole... Oh, look at that. I mean, the main thing that you have to realize about players in general, their neutral game sucks. In general, people suck at neutral. That's just a fact of life. Like, Asriel's biggest weakness as a character, especially now that he's gotten a proper sentinel dump and you can actually dash TK that effectively. Um, oh, actually, one thing I want to do before this is all over. Now that he can actually dash TK effectively... Please select your character. And he has a proper wake up Oki game. Oh my god, this motherfucker scary as shit. And the only weakness he has left is um, his neutral game. He just doesn't have a very good neutral game. But I still beat out most players in neutral because they just they don't effectively play neutral. They they're not patient. They want to hit buttons. They want to just do stuff. So like, if you're legitimate, like right here. Five seal whip, right? Five seal whip from right here. God damn it, stop it! Whip. Oh wow, that's still whip. Not whip. That's the one that's all you gotta do. Just like a tiny step forward. Stay out of your like your maximum range and then just walk forward a little bit. Motherfucker, I hate you. Oops. Don't dash. Oh, you can dash forward. You can't do shit like that, but anyway, um, just do shit like that. Like, if you, why am I doing that? Go the other way. Stupid. Um, so, that's one thing, like, if you play, just learn your neutral. 
Learn the max range of your poke, because once you're at this range, where you're out of range right now, oh, I'm dashing. Why do I always get dashes when I don't want them? And when I do want them, I never get them. Right here. Oh wow! Look at that. You're completely ineffective. Oh wow! Look at that. I just bodied you in the face. Do stuff like that where you're like a slight step away from hitting. Players don't respect that. They don't respect a good neutral game. If you just learn your neutral game, like you were better about it. You actually anti-aired me. People don't anti-air. They need to. They need to stop letting me get away with shit. But anyway. So like, with all that shit, all you gotta do is have a proper neutral game. And you will be fantastic in life. Life will be going great for you. So that's the one thing. Just be patient. And fucking whip punish people. Tarumi got the tools to whip punish. Use them. Six, I mean, well, 6C is very risky, but it's very fast. You get huge. You get paid off huge if you get a counter hit. Oh, you motherfucker. Stop it! Hate you. Hate you. Really, bro? Come on, son! Hey, you know what that is? That's that's a problem. That is. Oops, my bad. That was stupid. Come on, son. Come on, son. Oh, wow. That was too high. That didn't work. I'm actually surprised that doesn't work. Wow, I'm actually surprised by that. That's what you're supposed to do. I guess you gotta wait a little bit. Can you? I don't know why I thought you could charge that shit. Oh, no, you don't wait for that one. Shit, that was stupid. Oh, whatever. How did I do that? That still worked? That all still worked. I need to work on that shit, obviously. Didn't even work! Oh, the weak point! I did not actually know the weak point went away. You can still do more than that off of that shit. Well, depending on your starter. But yeah, that's, I love that combo. I, just, I absolutely thought I'm in love with it. Damn it. I just can't do it. Too early again. Oh, that wasn't. Actually, I wanna... I'm not a dude, I'm trying to do whatever anyway. I'll do that one last time, man. I don't know. Oops, I didn't even do it. Too, too late. You gotta hit him on like the tip of it. The tip. I suck. I'm stuck in online, I guess. Damn it! <laughs> Still, look at that damage. <laughs> Fucker! Look at that, the entire motion is there. Fuck you, dog. <laughs> No, no, that was intentional. <laughs> I'm so free! Oops, that was super. Actually, I wonder. I mean, I can't imagine there's any difference here. Yeah, there's not. 
I just wanted to know there was a difference between airborne and not airborne. Anyway, don't well, you know what? I gotta I gotta successfully do the combo one more time. That has to be confirmable. There's no way you're not gonna tell me that's not confirmable. Oh, that wasn't overdrive. That was so close to overdrive. That would have done probably like 6.5. That was overdrive. See, that's confirmable. It has to be counter hit at that point. Because I know there's a point where you can. You can combo off that. Alright. Anyway, I'm done. I need to, This is stuff I need to figure out and get settled. But anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, I still got time, so I'll see. I'll, we'll see if there's another video or not. I'll have to find a match.